Good morning, guys. Today's Saturday. Right now it is 7.20 in the morning. I woke up at 6. And I got out of the house by like 6.40 to go get Starbucks and get some work done. But I went to four different locations and they were all closed. Like Starbucks. Come on. Well, I'm going to go get some coffee right now. I'm going to try this new spot that's like right over there. Apparently it's five stars, so hopefully it's good. So this is how bad the sun's looking. The smoke's out and the drive through is right in here. So let's go get some coffee. Hi, good morning. I uh, know, thank you. Can I please go ahead and get the medium caramel macchiato? Yeah, you want that hot or ice? Uh, can I get that ice and then can I get that with light ice, please? Yeah, light ice. Yeah, it. perfect, thank you. Thank so nice. I just got my coffee. It looks so good. And of course, they spelled my name wrong, but that's okay. Can I do my work? Good boy. I passed my test. It's like a three hour training online. So I just finished the first one. I got 90%, but now I have another one. So I don't know if I'm gonna finish that today. Have you guys seen Outer Banks on Netflix? Because if you haven't, it's really good. And if you've seen All American, Outer Banks is so much better than, okay, not so much better, but it's, it's a little bit better than All American, but I definitely recommend. At first, I wasn't going to watch it because I just thought it was kind of like cliche, even though I hadn't even started it. Literally, the first episode, I was like, I was already hooked. And I started it a couple days ago, and I'm already on season two. I really watch Netflix like that, and for me to like binge watch, that tells you that it's pretty good. So basically, right now, I'm just doing kind of like a casual look. Um, nothing crazy. I'm just starting out some makeup to go out to the store, so I'm gonna go to TJ Maxx and then I will be going to Axel's. If you guys don't know Axel, he's one of my best friends. Not his birthday today, but his birthday was the other day and he's doing a little party or whatever, so I'm gonna go for a little bit. Um, today I'm gonna take the day off from training because I've been training and I haven't had a day off, so... I'm gonna take the day off. If you guys don't follow me on TikTok, go follow me on TikTok right here. Some pretty um, funny videos sometimes. Um, I'm trying to be more consistent on it just because I found out that you can get paid on it and I already have the followers. I just need to upload more and get more views so yeah if you guys okay so i figured i'd tell you guys a scary story uh something that happened to me in real life and um i've told this story many times to like friends and family um this happened i want to say like maybe like three years ago what had happened was i was sleeping it was three in the morning because i woke up Okay, let me, let me just start this way. So I was sleeping, my bed is right next to, so this is my bed and like right behind it is my window. And it was during summertime, so my window was open, right? And there's uh, like plants and bushes right outside my window. I heard something like in the bushes and I was like, oh, well, it's just a cat. So I, I didn't think much of it. I was just like, oh, it's just a cat, whatever. It woke me up. I tried to go back to sleep and, and then I heard it again. I heard it again. This time it was a little bit closer. And it just sounded like something was like rumbling through the, through the plants and through the bushes. I was like, this cat is not letting me sleep. So whatever, whatever. I like, you know, that, t that second time I heard it, my dog heard too. Because like, I sleep with my dog and he, I saw him wake up. So again, I tried to go back to sleep. This third time that I hear this noise, um, it's definitely a lot closer than the first and second time that I hear it. Like, way too close. It's like, I can literally hear it. It's like, it's like right here. And so my head's like right against the wall and the window's right there. At that point, I was like, what the heck? 
I had checked my phone, I looked at the time, and I remember the exact time. It was 3.14 in the morning, and if you guys don't know, 3 o'clock is when, like, demon time or whatever. It's not a good time to wake up to. I, I hate waking up at 3, 4 in the morning. But, um, anyways, I looked at the, I looked at my phone, it was 3.14, and I was like, oh, hell no. I got up, I sat up, I opened the curtain, and I kind of just peeked through. And the moon is so bright, you guys, it's so bright outside because the moon's shining. So everything's clear. So when I looked outside the window, I swear, I could you guys not, I saw a person in the form of, like, a lady standing i saw her side profile she's just standing in the middle of the grass and with her arms down just standing straight and i couldn't see her face but i just saw a figure with long black hair and the clothing description was like white kind of like a gown i guess you could say and I, I couldn't really see the face i just saw someone standing there i freaked out so bad but i got so scared so scared because like what the heck i honestly when i saw it i could not tell if it was a person or a person trying to mess with me or like a ghost i couldn't tell and so i was like freaking out i was like trying to be quiet because my my whole ass window was open and i was trying to be quiet and i was like i was in shock i was so scared so I go to look a second time and it's like in the same position, still standing there. I didn't even want to look the third time because I was scared like that it was gonna like turn around and look at me straight into my soul. Uh, I was so freaking scared. I peeked one more quick time and it was it, it was still there, it was still there. And, and I checked like repeatedly within like less than 30 seconds. Third time I saw it, didn't even care to make noise. I I got up, got out of my bed, opened my door, and I went straight to my mom's room. And I was like out of breath. I was so in shock as to what I had just seen. And she was like, what's wrong? What's wrong? And then I told her, she was like, oh, were, you, were, you were probably just dreaming. And I said, no, I was not dreaming. I was like, I, I woke up, I heard the noise, and I was looked outside the window three times and it was it's there it's there and I, I was telling her i was like can you get up and check can you get up and check because from her window you can kind of see like the same view which is just like the grass she got up and she looked outside the window and nothing was there you guys nothing she said she didn't see anything i even looked outside her window and when i looked from her room there was nothing there you guys, my heart dropped to my ass. The crazy part though, is that like the third time that I heard the noise, it was the closest that I like heard out of all. And when I looked outside the window, it wasn't even close to my window. It was like out in the grass, like feet away. I, I don't even know how many feet away, but like less than 10 feet away or about 10 feet away. The fact that like I heard the rambling, the noise, like right, right, literally right behind my ear, which I thought was like right outside my window in the bushes. But then when I looked like outside to look, it was like out there. That's the scary part. That's, that's where it kind of got me. That's where I was like, whoa, what the heck? Like how? Like I, if, if anything, like I would have heard it walking back. I will never forget, never forget. To this day, I don't know if it was a real person trying to like play some jokes or pranks or something, or if it was like a literal ghost. The fact that it was at 3.14 in the morning had to have been something like spiritual or evil or something. There's like no really, um paranormal history here like at the house or in the neighborhood i just know that in this neighborhood back then um it used to be a whole bunch of train tracks so yeah that was my um paranormal <laughs> activity 
to this day, I don't even sleep with my window open anymore just because I'm scared to see something or hear something. Guys, okay, one more thing. There's this thing, I don't know what's wrong with me, but I don't know if, you, okay, look, I don't know if you see my hand shaking right now. This hand, um, when I squeeze it, if I squeeze it really hard, look, I'm not, I'm not shaking it. I have no control. It's just so, we it's so weird. Like, when I do, uh, this hand, which I'm not a lefty, so I don't, I don't really use this hand, but this hand, I squeeze hard. And that doesn't happen. That doesn't happen. I don't shake at all. But when I use my right hand to squeeze, especially like, I th it's just when I lift it. Because, because when I squeeze down, I'm squeezing down low right here. When I squeeze down low, it doesn't shake. But when I lift it and I squeeze, I, I swear I'm not shaking it on purpose. It shakes uncontrollably. And so... I went to my doctor, not just for that reason, but I brought it up and she was like, oh, she was like, yeah, that's weird. And I was like, no, duh. <laughs> so I was like, yeah, I was just wondering like if it's normal or, or if it's because like I'm working out too much or like maybe I, I, I don't know, I hurt myself or I pulled something or I need to go see a chiropractor or get acupuncture she was like yeah yeah maybe you should try that and I was like okay which I never did um it's been like this for like I want to say like a year maybe or more than a year about a year and a half <laughs> all right so this is the finished look like I said super casual and I haven't worn makeup since last week doesn't seem like that long ago but honestly I like throwing on makeup. I like throwing on makeup. I like nails and stuff. Unfortunately, I can't wear nails just because of my training. I don't want to scratch my partners or like they'll get in the way with the boxing gloves. But yeah, this is my finished look. Let me show you guys my outfit. Okay, so this is an outfit. Super cash. Super cash. The shoes. The shoes. Look who I found. <laughs> what? I don't know if I should get this one or this one. I just did my makeup and my hair and I changed my outfit. Um, but basically, right now I'm about to be on my way to Axel's birthday party. If you guys don't know Axel, he's one of my best friends and yeah i'm just gonna be super chill laid back and we're just gonna have a good time so yeah outfit of the day part two. So this is the outfit i'm going with the cowgirl boots today and just a casual top and cute jeans yeah Ooh! happy birthday hey, it's my birthday bitches <laughs> <laughs> Take a picture. Wow. Oh, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you only had one shot so far. Yeah, I'm not fine. drinking, but he's already one, had shot. one shot. I need to take 21 because it's my birthday. Yeah. Damn, you're getting my lava away. Let's go. Go put like some stuff up there. I'm I'm already yeah, already yeah. Vamos a empezar el baile. Vamos. Porque, porque es que ya... Ay, mi bolsa. <laughs> All right. Yeah. 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 Yeah.